Hello YouTube, um, back again after a long while off. Um, just finished this one. It's um, a Duesenberg, I think, I can't remember, a monogram I think it was. I can't remember now. Anyway, so it's one of them, you know which one it is. But um, what I've done, I had a Lamborghini engine and um, I thought, try and put it in a car and it wouldn't, there was no car I had. I got all my kits there and there was no car big enough to make this engine fit in that I had. And, um, yeah, I had a look and tried them in other cars. It was just too big. The engine is a V12 twin turbo. I put turbos on it. And um, yeah, there was no car that it would fit in. So I had this one. This one was an old... Um, I put some stills in the, sh in the video afterwards. It's an old car I had and it was falling to bits. So I thought it would fit in that. And it did. It fitted in that perfectly. It matched it. And um, yeah, what we've done, we just repainted it black and gold. Uh, changed the wheels on the sides, so though the big ones that are on the side had spoke ones. So I found some just to make it different. I uh, found some wheels that fitted in there, cut the spoke ones out and fitted them. Uh, the what's it? The, the V12 Lamborghini engine. I 3D printed a top for it. I designed it myself on the computer there. Put Lamborghini embossed on there. So. Yeah, 3D, I, I designed that myself on the computer, didn't buy that one or anything, so that's all part of it. You've got your twin turbos, um, seat belts. As I try I tried to keep it, it's like a hot rod, isn't it? It's like an old style hot rod. But uh, yeah, it went, it went well. Um, I de chromed it really, there's no chrome on it, it's all gold. And I changed the inside of the radiators too because the engine's still big in this, even though this is a big car. I changed the insert, 3D printed an insert for the radiator, the thinner one, so that it didn't, because the old one was hitting the front of the engine, so if you can see when it comes around there's a gap there now, and I put twin fans, 3D printed fans on there as well, so it's got two fans and a slightly smaller um, insert for the radiator, because that's how the other one was too big. Um, what else did we do? Oh, just changed the wheels up, uh, just lowered the front down. As much as I could because it's sitting pretty high at the front there and um, all with the lights as well it had a bar running across the lights were fitted on a bar so I took that off and fitted the uh, lights straight to the body uh, the rear lights that was missing there was a bar that runs through there to connect your rear lights on but um, it was missing so I had to uh, make another bar for that um, what else are we doing I'm trying to think I think that's about it yeah, just like I say, wide or the engine wired it all up. Added turbo and turbo pipes, got pop off valves, blow off valves on the turbos. Um, yeah, just been having a good, a good fun builder. I like it, it's something different, you know, than, than the norm. I like building custom stuff, you know. If you see some of my videos, they're all very seldom I, I build a kit straight out of the box, it's always built. Um, you know, slightly different, but yeah, that's just the way I build them. Um, yeah, I like it, and um, I will show, oh, show you the underneath of it before we turn the video off. Let's just stop this, spin her over, and you can have a look. It's very basic. There's the engine, the big V12 in there, and you just uh, I've done shortened exhausts, and that's it. Really, didn't didn't need to do anything else to it. Really, it all fitted pretty smart. So that's it. Thanks for watching YouTube and what's next?